there is that particular group. There is that particular group that are trying to take the Muslims back to that early generation. Because it is through that early generation that Islam was the way it was. The only thing that took the Jahiliyyah that was present during the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad And it is regarding this that Imam Malik rahimahullah said his famous, famous statement that we should all familiarize ourselves with. He said, من ابتدع في الإسلام بدعة ورآها حسنة فقد زعم أن محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم خان الرسالة فإن الله يقول اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا فما لم يكن يومئذ دينا لا يكون اليوم دينا ولا يصلح آخر هذه الأمة إلا ما أصلح أولها Listen to what he said He said Whoever introduces an innovation into Islam and he sees it as something good. Notice, you will never come across an innovator who tells you, yeah, this is a bad innovation. It's always good. It's good, akhi. Dhikr of Allah. We're loving Allah. We're loving the Prophet ﷺ. So we have to do these things. He said, whoever introduces something into Islam and he holds it as something good, he has alleged and claimed that Muhammad ﷺ has betrayed the message of Islam. Look how... Look how grave that violation is. He said, because we read in the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, this day, when that ayah was revealed on the day of Arafah, this day I have perfected your religion for you and completed my favors upon you and I am pleased with Islam as a way of life for you. So Imam Malik said as commentary on this particular ayah, so whatever was not part of the deen then could not be part of the deen today. When that ayah was revealed, the deen was complete. Whatever did not exist then, cannot exist today. Then he said the part that it is relevant to our lecture tonight, and nothing will rectify the last part of this ummah, except that which rectified the first part. I will repeat. Nothing will rectify the last part of this ummah, except that which rectified the first part. And this is the discussion. What was the thing that made them unique? What was that thing that made him virtuous? All you have to do, to do is read the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to find out the virtue of these individuals. So who are the righteous predecessors? In the Arabic language, righteous, salih. And predecessors is as salaf So in reality, we are speaking about as salaf al salih As salaf is anyone who came before you. Anyone who preceded you is considered a salaf for you, both linguistically and Islamically. Uh, a salih for the righteousness. So they call that salaf al salih because they are that generation which Allah said about in the Quran, والسابقون الأولون من المهاجرين والأنصار والذين تبعوهم بإحسان رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه. And the first among the first to embrace Islam or the forerunners. From the Muhajirin. Who are the Muhajirin? Those who resided in Mecca and they migrated with the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ to Medina as means of obedience to Allah. Wal Ansar are those who aided them, who were residing in Medina and they aided their brothers for the sake of Allah and they kept them and took care of them and protected them from their enemies. Those are these individuals. But the ayah says, وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ and those who follow them exactly in faith. Those who follow them exactly in goodness. This ayah is understood through the narration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, alayhi salatu salam in a hadith that is sahih in Muslim, there will remain a group of people amongst my ummah upon the truth and they will be victorious. And they will not be disappointed, they will not be affected by those who oppose them until the establishment of the hour. So then the ayah says, وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ Those who follow them in righteousness, in goodness, exactly in faith. And the Prophet ﷺ said, they will remain a group of my ummah upon the truth. So no matter what happens to the Muslim ummah, the truth will never disappear or vanish. It will always be available. But it is upon the individual who understands to take that path in his life. So this ayah is among the virtues 
What does the ayah say afterwards? Radiyallahu anhum wa radhu an. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. Now, sitting here tonight, can any one of you say that Allah is pleased with Him? Huh, brothers? Can any one of you sitting here tonight say Allah is pleased with Him? No. No matter who you are, no matter how righteous you think you are, you may be nothing in the sight of Allah, and He may be displeased with you. No one can give this tazkiyah to himself. Wallah, Allah is pleased with me. That's a grave mistake for someone to believe that. Let alone say that. Believing that is not from the sunnah. The companions used to cry all day. Umar ibn al-Khattab, given glad tidings of Jannah. The Prophet said, I see it. I went, I, I went to Jannah during his dream. And he went by a big castle. And he seen that there was a, a woman in there. He asked, whose castle is this? They said, this is that of Umar ibn al-Khattab. He said, so I knew how jealous you were, so I just, I just went away. I did not want to see that woman because he knew that Umar was a jealous man. So he told this to Umar the next day. Yani, I've seen your house in Jannah. And Umar cried. He said, from you I'm going to be jealous of Messenger of Allah. He did not focus on the fact that he was giving like that of Jannah. He didn't say, oh, mashallah, tabarakallah. I'm from the people of Jannah. Allahu Akbar. I'm going to leave the salah. <laughs> did he do that? He, that made him more fearful of Allah. And he was focusing on the statement that I'm going to be jealous from you, O Messenger of Allah, from you. He, this was his mind frame. And this was, this was their mind frame. People who were given glad tidings of Jannah by the one who doesn't speak from his own desire, and he does not know. Uthman said, if I had one foot in Jannah, I will not feel secure until my other foot is inside. And now we have brothers over here say, Akhi, I am following that you know, way. Brother, I am guided. I'm going straight to Jannah. So we say, Akhi, you need to reconsider your understanding of the deen. We, no one can say that Allah is pleased with him, but Allah gave him that tazkiyah. Radi Allahu anhum, Allah is pleased with them. Waradu an, and they are pleased with him. What honor is this? It's upon you. But notice, you can be qualified, because Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ تَبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And those who follow them in their goodness. But we cannot get this tazkiyah anymore, but we may be included by the grace of Allah without us knowing. But this depends on whether we strive or we don't. That's one ayah. The second ayah, actually there's more than one, but the second one I will quote you is, وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Surah An-Nisa, verse 69. Allah says, Whoever obeys Allah, one Rasul and the Messenger. Just in case some people thought that obeying Allah was all that they needed to do. You must obey the Messenger وسلم, because when you obey Him, you are obeying Allah. Allah says, whoever obeys Allah and the Rasul, then really He will be among those whom Allah has bestowed His favors or His grace upon, His bounties. From who? And Nabiyyin, the Prophets, was Siddiqeen, the truthful ones. Who are the, these are the individuals who have knowledge, and they acted upon the knowledge. And they were truthful in every aspect of their deen. And among them is Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, radiallahu anhu Allah, and his daughter Aisha al-Siddiq, bint al-Siddiq, radiallahu anha, Maryam, and others that we know from the Quran and the Sunnah that were given that particular title, Siddiq. Was shuhada a shuhada could be one of two according to the scholars. A shaheed is what usually comes to mind as a martyr, the one who dies fighting in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But also there's another kind of shaheed, which is the scholar. Because Allah says, Shahid Allah wa anna la 